Good day. I'm here with Mr. Chen Raj, who is the chairman of the Jain Group of Institutions. Pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. Well, so much being heard about Jain Group of Institutions, uh, curing, curating uh, students into future leaders of the country, ready to empower and take the nation forward. Tell us, what is your vision behind it? This country needs a very good young leaders who can be entrepreneurial in nature, who can provide jobs. It's such a vast country, over 154 population. Uh, these youngsters can be chosen because they are all from business background. So any country, leadership in business ecosystem, contributing to the nation's economy, GDP, that makes a, a more healthy the country from all angles. So teach them good values teach them leadership qualities, communication, and also trying to benefit the people who are in, in the, the bottom of the spectrum, bottom of the pyramid, where their level raises. In India grows in economic strength across the world because it's a global economy. So this group is known for you know, collaboration, partnerships, a social impact. Why are these values so important to you? And you know, what do you feel would happen for students to incorporate this in their early years? See, now the world has become so dynamic. Uh, the entire world is got into one spectrum, one box computer, and you can connect with anybody across the globe. True. So you need to understand the cultures, the concepts, the aspects, the ideas of human development index across the world and also in business leadership or corporate culture or you talk about business culture. We are not in a closed doors now. Mm. So it's an open economy across the world. It is the survival of the fittest. So they need to connect with the whole globe. So you need to bring in that social impact. You need to create them social thinkers. And they need to be with the society. It's not only about business or it's not only about leadership. They have to provide concepts, they have, to, they have to provide ideas, they have to connect with the humanity at large and make the world a better place. So they need to get this kind of exposures, of global exposure where they can analytically think mm. and also experience as a life and make a better world because we are talking about artificial intelligence. We are talking about a uh, whole supercomputer coming to the brain. And the brain is so effective. So now if they have to interconnect across the environment, this is the best way of to create a holistic development of all-round de development, not only in the academic culture or knowledge, but they have an all-round general knowledge who can handpick their career and vision and connect with the world. So, uh, you know, when you talk about connectivity, uh, the Jain group of institutions has been known as one of the, you know, the premier residential institutions uh, for not just expats, but for NRIs to also send their children to. Uh, what is it that really attracts uh, these uh, people who are not actually living in India, but who have the confidence to send their children to this trusted institution? Uh, by 2030, 2040, India is going to be a global power, economically as well as uh, in growth aspect. So NRI is going to come across the world they will have the moodings to come back to this country and advertise because after 10th standard or 8th standard, the children are very open there and here still our Indian values and our tradition and beliefs. And the India is a growing country, you know, this is China, India, BRICS. Uh, so we talk about not uh, not only developed uh, countries which were ruling the world. Now it, every country has an opportunity to be a global leader. So that interconnectivity of people across the globe So, uh, you know, it's, it's really great to see, uh, you know, a holistic uh, framework, holistic education, uh, the great infrastructure uh, as per international standards right here in the heart of Bangalore in India for students all around to be part of. What are your plans to make it a sustainable institution? See, sustainability is not only with infrastructure. Sustainability comes when human existence is there. And when they collaborate and bond with each other and they develop that confidence and conviction to create the path for the people or to create their own avenues or to connect with the society as a whole. So sustainability is a continuous process. It doesn't end up with only a particular aspect of it. 
it's a lifelong learning. So in this knowledge uh, economy or the knowledge era, what I see related to the empires, the mind is the potent, uh, capable talent. So if the mind uh, synergize, everything is possible. Peace, happiness, joy. Uh, world is fifty uh, percent of the world is below poverty line, especially Africa and India is a in the financial of attraction for the whole world. So the population is going to double. Mm -hmm. So you require human beings who can synergize and merge with the existence and make existence more beautiful. You yourself have been uh, you know, known as one of uh, you know, the thought leaders in not just the industry but in the education sector as well. Where do you derive your inspiration from and you know, what is it that you really want to achieve and what is the legacy you want to leave we behind? We derive inspiration from our great thinkers who have been existing in this world and who have contributed to the humanity, who have contributed to the thoughts, built nations. We have, for example, Singapore when it came out of Malay, Malaysia. He had nothing, a barren land, he built a world-class uh, country. So you derive inspiration from the great Swami Vivekananda's and the spiritual leaders and the thinkers who have sacrificed for the world. So that, derive, that gives you that energy that you also can do your bit in your life. I mean, the life is so short. So can it be more meaningful and can we create that ecosystem of uh, harmony, blend of harmony and uh, existence, human existence in a righteous uh, outlook? Uh, we talk about a lot of uh, good, bad and ugly, but then it is all objectively or subjectively how you look at it. But every human being has that potential divinity in them. So India has that great tradition of uh, adding value or maybe uh, forgiving nature or people have taught us tolerance, so non-violence. That culture which is so, I will say, ancient culture. So this, this country can bring in peace. The world is now longing for peace. Look at North Korea and USA, unrest everywhere. Or you find people uh, going below the level of trying to capture each other. But as human humanity, the world becomes a better place. So it can only happen through knowledge and experiential of, uh, input given to them so that the output is very good. And that can only the youth has to be taught tolerance. Uh, Japan has done that. Uh, after the near Hiroshima bomb, Japan has uh, sustained tolerance and they have become a great nation mm -hmm. in this whole world. So human potential, wherever it is there, uh, the better planet and a better uh, place to live in is always a uh, possibility and we have to make an effort to see that the world becomes a better place. And a final question to you, you know, you have been known to successfully launch, spearhead, uh, a lot of institutions under, uh, you know, the Jain group of institutions. Uh, how have you managed to keep going, achieve greater success? What has been your challenges and how have you See, You have to be one of a catalyst. So you create the environment or build a platform. You have people who are extremely talented, all our leaders. You are a bit of leader, you don't become a better leader. Very true. You are the Dr. Yes. He was an alumni of this group and he has taken it. So it's a collaborative approach. And alone you cannot do anything. So you require a team who believes in your thoughts, vision, and also believes in building the nation. So if that patriotism and if that passion is there, that we create a right atmosphere, so we'll empower them and they are the leaders. So that is how I think we have grown in our group, by empowering them and giving them the space to take it forward and synergize with the universe. Lovely. Uh, really inspiring to hear your thoughts and insights today. And I'm sure it is also uh, thought provoking for future leaders, uh, you know, and all those who are committed to the field of education. Thank you so much for your time with Thank us you today. Much. It was a pleasure. Yeah, and all the best. Thank you. Thank you.